Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for not punishing my kid and kicking out my sister? I 30F have a little girl, 6F. I grew up in a strict household where every little mistake was met with punishment. Drop ice cream? No more for a month. Accidentally break something? You're grounded. When I had my daughter, I promised myself I wouldn't raise her like that unless it was a really serious issue. Fast forward, my sister, 34F, lost her job, so I invited her and her son, 7M, to stay with us. Things were going fine for the most part, but I started noticing that her son would act like the world was ending any time he made a mistake. One time, my daughter and nephew were playing tag inside, yeah, I know, bad idea, and they accidentally knocked over a vase. I heard the crash from my home office and rushed over. When I got there, my nephew was bawling and saying how sorry he was. I asked if they were okay and told them not to run in the house next time. He looked confused and quickly ran off when his mom and my sister came in. I thought it was strange but brushed it off and cleaned up the mess. Last week, I took the kids to the park with my sister tagging along. I bought them ice cream and kept an eye on them while they played. I had to use the bathroom, so I asked my sister to watch them for a minute. When I came back, my daughter was in tears, her ice cream was on the ground, and my sister was yelling at her while my nephew was also crying. I asked what happened, and my sister said my daughter dropped her ice cream because she was running around even though my sister told her not to. My daughter then said that my nephew had been chasing her with a worm on a stick, so she was running away from him. I made sure my daughter was okay, and then I lost it on my sister. I told her she had no right to yell at my child, and she snapped back, saying I wasn't raising my daughter properly because I don't punish her. She said she was just making sure my daughter didn't grow up spoiled. I explained that I discipline my child when necessary, but I'm not going to punish her for every little mistake. Things got heated, and I told my sister she needed to leave. She left the next day, but now my family's blowing up my phone, saying I'm heartless for kicking out my sister and her son when they don't have anywhere else to go. I feel guilty, especially because her son did nothing wrong, but I just couldn't handle the way she treated my daughter. Edit to answer some questions. Yes, I've tried talking to my sister about how she parents before, but she didn't want to hear it, so I dropped it. My daughter has never broken a vase before. It was raining that day, so they were playing inside. I didn't let them go to the park that day as a consequence for running around inside. My sister and her son aren't homeless. They're staying with a friend now. I know my daughter was telling the truth because I've raised her to be honest, and my nephew admitted he was chasing her with a worm. I kicked my sister out because this wasn't the first time she yelled at my daughter. Once, my daughter dropped a cup, and my sister yelled at her for it. I told her back then not to yell at my kid, and she agreed. But clearly, she didn't stick to it. I'm planning to meet with my sister later today to have a serious talk at a coffee shop. I explained to her that yelling at children for every little mistake is damaging, and that she needed to chill with the yelling. She started to argue, but I cut her off and told her that to help her out, I wanted her son to stay with me for a few days every week so he could be in a calmer environment. I also made it clear that if she didn't agree, I'd be forced to call CPs and take action because I didn't think her behavior was healthy for her son. She wasn't happy, but eventually she agreed to let him stay with me for two days a week. He's been staying with me now, and things have been going well. As part of the deal, I also signed her up for an anger management class, and she agreed to go to avoid further issues. Community feedback. Commenter 1. Ente for protecting your daughter and trying to raise her in a better manner than you were raised. Kudos to you for taking an appropriate path. You might be a bit of an A, H for not taking the same route with your sister. Did you tell her anything along the lines of what you wrote here? I.e. that her overreacting is the same as what you both experienced growing up and you're trying to be a better parent. She is likely doing the same as she was treated and not even realizing it. It would be nice to give her a chance to grow and make it up to you and your daughter. OP. I accept your judgment. No, I haven't told her anything as when I first tried to she asked me to but out of her parenting style. I'm trying not to overstep any boundary. Commenter 2. No and day, but if this is the only hassle between the two of you maybe you were a little harsh and quick to throw her out? I mean didn't you do to her what your mom did to you? She made a mistake, and instead of calmly discussing it, you got angry and punished her. Let me ask you this. Did you guys grow up in the same house? 
Did she experience the same treatment slash trauma that you did? Did you guys ever talk about it, either growing up or after you were adults? Clearly, she is continuing the dysfunction you guys experienced as children. Does she recognize that? She must not if she's repeating the behavior. She's definitely wrong and rude and mean, but if you have enjoyed any kind of relationship in the past, then maybe you don't want to throw that away. Or if you do just tell the rest of your family to mind their own business. Your house, your rules. Your parents should appreciate that if nothing else. Opie reply. We did grow up in the same house. She is my full sister. We were close but not very close, and I've been distanced a bit over the years. Commenter 2. Well, clearly you two are different people. That's the thing with the dysfunctional family. Some people repeat it, and some people work hard to do just the opposite. It seems like you'd be much happier with her not being there anyway. I feel bad for her kid, but I'm happy for yours. Commenter 3. Info. Did you set any clear rules and boundaries beforehand? Did you have a discussion about how living together in your house needed to be? OP. I've never seen her parent before so I thought I wouldn't need to. If I'd known she'd yell at my child I would have definitely talked to her about boundaries. Participant 1. And A. You're doing right by your girl and you're breaking the cycle of abuse, which I can personally attest is extremely difficult to do. Your sister on the other hand is continuing the cycle and her poor wee guy sounds terrified of her. Participant 2. That poor boy is going to grow up to hate his mother. That's sad. Participant 3. Hopefully. Because that will mean he got out. Too many kids who are abused like this never get out of the dynamic. Participant 4. I don't want kids because of trauma. I'm scared one day I might do what my parents did to me to my child, even though I'm working on myself to be better, but the thought of having kids is scary. I keep thinking I'll be worse than my parents. Participant 5. One of the multitude of reasons I didn't want kids is how my mom was when I was a kid and teenager and she was nothing compared to what I read about on here. She's since changed and is a fantastic grandma to my one nephew, but being scared of repeating it was definitely in my mind. I knew how to interact with them just fine because I had been a babysitter and even a nanny when I was a teen and loved it. But the phrase my husband and I say is that we like kids with return policies. I can do a few kids, like my nibblings, for a longer time or a lot of kids, my students, for a school day, but both things have a set in time. But I already knew when I was 17 that I didn't want kids, and that determination never changed. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you got more to share.